So, Juan, who should get a colonoscopy and when? So, identifying who needs a colonoscopy is the first step, and that's critical. There's two main reasons to get a colonoscopy. One is a screening colonoscopy in somebody without symptoms, and the other reason is a diagnostic colonoscopy in patients with symptoms. The screening colonoscopy usually, as the guidelines say, should be done in patients that are 50 or older, and that's considered average risk or routine. Now, some people might need a colonoscopy earlier if they have a high risk or certain conditions that can predispose them to develop colon cancer. The diagnostic colonoscopy, as I said, is done in people that have symptoms, such as rectal bleeding, abdominal pain, chronic diarrhea, weight loss, and that is to look for a specific disease, such as inflammatory bowel disease, diverticulosis of the colon, certain ulcers, or other diseases that can affect the overall health of the bowel. Juan, I think you bring up a very good point, because this is not one side fits all. It's very important to do restratification. It's very important to know why we're doing the procedure. Patients, as you said, with inflammatory bowel disease, depending on the number of years that they have had active disease, they may need to have a colonoscopy more frequent. If you have a family history, if you have multiple family members that have a history of colon cancer, even if they have had it resected and cured, it's very important to bring that to the attention of your doctor because you may be at a higher risk. You may have, for example, a polyposis syndrome that the vast majority of them have a genetic component. So you may need to have a colonoscopy earlier than just the general population, even if you have no symptoms at all. So it's very important to remember that. And there's some ethnic groups that also, for example, African-Americans tend to develop much more colon cancers than compared to Caucasians and at a younger age. So you want to start the screening process earlier than the Caucasian population. I think what you said is key, and I tell my patients to be proactive and ask the doctors, when should I get a colonoscopy?